Happy Saturday, my friends. Grab your in tune, the oil of presence. I put a little bit on my neck. Back of my neck as well. Ah, it feels good being in alignment, let me tell you. Um, even with life not being perfect because let's let's be real life is not going to be perfect all the time it's not we're going to have perfect moments here and there we're going to be thrown a curveball shit's going to happen and how do you maneuver how do you pivot how do you flow how do you flow that is what is resonating with me in a very 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 big way at this moment very big way um in a couple different ways, I was reminded of my husband's accident back in October 2020 and the turmoil we both felt um, as things unfolded. I'm going to be careful what I say because I, I've been shadow banned on a couple things. Um, I found myself be feeling very triggered though. And, and again, it was a couple different angles. This was kind of coming at me and it allowed me the opportunity to kind of go even deeper, especially after, um, my husband and I had a chat the other night and after one evening, I just felt so crazy overwhelmed. And it was just the little things that had built up. So I had something, um, we were busy at the long weekend, Monday night, my husband and I had something to do Tuesday night. I had something to do. And so it was just kind of an accumulation of not getting the daily little things done every day. And it just kind of piling up. I honored myself and how I felt. I was honest with my family. I said, mom can't do this tonight. I poured into my self care, which I've been lacking on. I'm, I'll be completely honest. I'll be lacking on, or I had been lacking on. And I kind of got myself back into alignment. Um, and it felt really good. We chatted about some things and realized that even though after my husband's accident, like we were forced to slow down in a very big way. March of 2020 forced us to slow down in a very big way. And we didn't have a super busy social life in any way. Um, so this week, again, we were just kind of reminded to just not only take a step back, but take a step back into the feelings behind your actions. Figure out what what you're thinking or what you're doing, what are those feelings behind it? And be honest. And don't be afraid to be honest with yourself, with your partner or spouse, with your family, with extended family. Obviously, you don't have to with the world. But whoever you feel, if it feels in alignment, I'm so grateful for what I've kind of experienced over the past week. And even though it's, it's felt up and down a little bit, it's even it beautifully. And sometimes that's what alignment is, right? So think of, think of, um, I like to think of how, you know, life goes in a circle, like a ring, right? which it does. It does. It's the circle of life. The best analogy is what I saw the other day and it had a circle, which to me represents a circle of life. And then what it actually looked like. And it looked like a spring, right? Oh, I can feel the energy because we don't just go in a circle, in a circle, in a circle, in a circle, in a circle. We're continually evolving. So we, although we are going in a circle, circular motion, 
we continue to go up if we choose to, if we choose to. We've learned over the time, over time, <laughs> if we're hitting roadblocks, there's a reason. And of course, at that time, you don't want to know there's no roadblock because this needs to happen. It's really interesting, though. It's very interesting. Um, we made a decision this week and it just it unfolded so beautifully. We manifested something into our life that we thought we wanted, needed. We truly did. We, we manifested it with ease, easy, like such ease. It was, we were working on manifesting it and then it was gone. And then it came back and it was like, why did this come back? And it's easy to immediately go to what's meant to be. But there's always something to learn. There's always something to discover. And that sometimes is the best journey. That's the growth. That's the shift. That's the pivot. That's the flow. That's the flow. So we experienced this week. And then the decision was ultimately being more present in every single area of our life. So whether we're here, whether we're at work, whether we're at our family cottage, whatever it is, being present and in the moment and enjoying the space, 100%. So this weekend, it's really opened my heart in a big way. And what really profoundly shifted me this afternoon was when this hit my heart. I bought this necklace. Um, pretty sure it was two years ago. I'm positive it was the summer of 2020 at our family cottage. And it's a silver chain with tourmaline, throat chakra, stone. And at the time, I had begun speaking my voice more stronger, but still not 100% at all. Um, I had, I've been sharing a significant part of our holistic lifestyle, essential oils, since 2014, I believe, 2014. Um quietly, softly, I began shifting my health in 2015, more specifically in 2017, in a huge way in 2017 actually, and really stepping into me, doing some energy training certifications, Reiki 1, but still keeping it kind of quiet and under the wire not fully embracing me just yet. It definitely has strength in the past two years. I know without a doubt who the fuck I am, who the fuck I'm going to be, and what the fuck I'm not going to participate in, quite simply. Um, yesterday, I shared them some things that had felt very triggering on Insta and it felt very triggering because it was our reality for a short time of our life. Thank God it was a short time, but it was a reminder of how important it is to be aligned in you and to know what your truth is. So I shared a bit of our story. I shared how triggering it was, how triggering it is reading of 
hospitals literally closing their emergency departments because they don't have enough staff. I personally know people who are healthy, willing and ready to work. The government will not allow them. Much like when my husband fell off a fucking roof, I had to fight to see him. It's not right. It's not right. I was triggered in another way yesterday and it's not right. It's not right. So this morning, ironically enough, I got out of the shower and my necklace broke. Not in the shower. I was literally flipping my head over to put a towel on my hair. And I gently went like this with my necklace just to pull it down so that it didn't get caught up in the towel. And it came out of my hair. Ever so gently. Ever so gently. Still attached even. I was able to clear my throat chakra. And this is what told me. Don't hold back. There's no need to be an asshole. There's no need to be rude. There's no need to be a know-it-all. There's, there's no need for any negativity. If every single person simply speaks their truth and simply lives in their truth, think of how fucking fabulous the world would be if each individual person was happy and comfortable and healthy. It would change the world. It would change the world in a very big way. So that happened this morning. So then this morning I had a be it was a beautiful morning. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, went downtown with my daughter after doing some journaling. I'm excited what I kind of, I'm really excited what I have in the works at the moment. Um, working on what my miracle morning actually is to me every morning and night using this, my journal, my rise and rest journal and pouring into the self care. I finally pulled my gua sha stone out that I've had since before Christmas and I hadn't been used. I hadn't used, I've been using it since Wednesday night, every single night. I used it this morning as well. My face just feels, my face and neck looser. My lymph feels like it's flowing better. It's like everything's draining so much better. So that's a huge thing, huge. Um, went downtown this morning and went into one of the new stores in town, which is incredible. And it's a new favorite, um, Art Arrows. And she put together these, um, so your astrological sign, so I'm a Virgo. She's got all these sets that are together in this little baggie. So the Virgo set is Kyanite, Red Jasper, Carnelian, Moss, Agate, and Green Jade. Um, most of these I don't have. And it says what they're good for. I can feel the energy off of them. And what I'm so excited to do with these is to introduce them into my morning routine. And really anchor in me. In a very big way. The other thing I found there is this. 
It's a Unicite heart. And if you know the mallow that I have, that I made uh, Mother's Day weekend, it has a lot of Unicite in it. And I am just fascinated with this stone. So it is a visionary crystal. It's also good for inspiring creation, which is so pivotal for today because I had just an amazing download drop in today. Um, and it's also supportive in shifting your viewpoints and also growing from your encounters. So if you think of that as everyone that comes into your life is here for a reason, what can you learn from it? And shift your life completely, completely, completely. And like I said, not every day is roses. It's not. But the more in alignment, the more we live in alignment with ourselves, the more we can just shift and pivot and everything stays in perfect alignment. Perfect alignment. Uh, yep. Alignment. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So beautiful. Oh, okay. Let's see what the card says about it, but I did already. It's exactly what I've been talking about. This is alignment. Often our path is exactly the one that we don't feel prepared to walk. Walk it anyway. Often what is rising feels far bigger than we could possibly hold. Be a container for it anyway. Often our creations seem to have a wild, uncontrollable consciousness of their own. Birth them anyway. Often what is ours to do is the very thing that most intimidates us. Be courageous and do it anyway. We are birthing a new age. Right now we're in a transition period between ages. In the process of allowing the old cycle to fall away and the new to rise. Like driving in the fog and trusting the road will appear ahead, we need to release old identities in ways that no longer serve us, using our intuition as a compass. So put your hand on your heart. I am open to surrendering to the creations that are wanting to be birthed through me. May I be of service in a way that delights my mind, body, and soul. Please use me. Please lead me. Please show me the way. So good. Oh, it's so good. When everything's in alignment, it just feels so good. The diffuser blend, this is a unique one because I don't really know what made me choose one of these oils. <laughs> um, Clary Sage, which is clarity and vision. I've used that before. It has a beautiful, beautiful It's a more masculine scent. It's really hard to describe, but yeah, it's a more masculine scent. Um, I find it very grounding. It's really nice. Um, this is the one that really kind of threw me. Citronella. Citronella. Like, so it's the oil of a birding. At first I thought, ooh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's in this book. It might be too new, but let's see. Oh, it's in here. Okay, so this is in my, I have the app on my phone too, Essential Emotions. Citronella is potent for at repelling unwanted invaders from our body and energy field. While it's best to try and avert invasion or contamination from harmful organisms or energies, it is not always possible. Citronella also assists individuals in expelling undesirables once they have been established. The invitation from Citronella is to carefully observe what an individual is allowing into their physical, mental, and emotional space, and to choose more consciously what they allow into their lives. It reminds that small weeds grow quickly when left unattended. Citronella is especially helpful when individuals have been consciously allowing little irritations or judgment to build up over time. 
Reoccurring negative thoughts and actions accumulate and stagnate in various parts of the body, causing havoc. Citronella challenges the individual to reckon with their addiction of, to feeling agitated and annoyed. It assists in breaking the energy, energetic cycle of constant irritation and teaches how to release these degrading states so that they don't continue to pre prey on the individual's life force. Incredible. So the negative um, emotions that this oil will help shift is feeling irritated, judgmental, invaded, overrun, undiscerning, and stagnant. Um, and anything to do with any negative emotions, don't feel bad. You're human if you feel them. It's if you recognize. That's what you want to learn. You want to learn and catch yourself before taking it too far. So if you find yourself, oh, okay, Pam, you're being a little judgmental, call yourself out. It's as simple as that. Call yourself out. And that's when you begin to rewire your brain and shift everything. So some positive properties that this, will re this oil citronella will reinforce is averting, discerning, forgiving, releasing, and repelling. I rarely, rarely use this oil and I'm going to pull this little baby out and use this one all the time, all the time. This is a great one. So yeah, so I put in um, two drops of clary sage, one drop of citronella, because I really didn't know how this was going to go. And then three drops of citrus bliss, which is the oil of creativity. And it smells so good. So good. It smells so, so, so good. So I hope, I hope you have a great weekend. I just, I love how even, you know, positive, negative, life flows. Life flows. And how do you get into the flow of your life? So much love. Have a great day.